the Fiesta Royal Accra, Ghana. We have here with us a very wonderful and a handsome gentleman here. Tell us his name and shortly his experience with FGBMFI. Hello, I'm Eric. Oh, my name is Prince Davidson. Right. Actually, I'm a business engineer. So it means I consult for businesses. Um, and so, but my experience with Fugos, when I want to talk about Fugos School, I start by telling the people that uh, Fugos School is the best thing that happened to the Christian faith because Fugos School is a unifier. Fugos School is a unifier. It's something that, um, you know, before Fugos School, I didn't know that there was a confusion between my work and my, my, my faith. You know, but then when Fugos, when I came into Fugos, I came to realize that it is one and the same thing. While I get trained and equipped in Fugos, I go out there to, you know, I am deployed out there to sort of, you know, do those things that to call men back to God. I'm deployed to work. And so my office, my work is my marketplace. That is where I actually, so the difference is, you know, sometimes from uh, Monday all the way to Saturday, uh, we, uh, we forget everything about church. And so we don't focus so much on our faith until it was Sunday. And then all of a sudden we want to, you know, start getting back into the faith mood. But full gospel, the, the meetings we have, the trainings we have, are just the beginning. And it is what we do after that time, I, the Monday, the Tuesday, the Wednesday, the days we go to work, the people we meet on the way, you know, those are the actual, you know, that's where the actual work is. Outside there, that's where the actual work is. I say, and I think that's one of the major things that I have uh, sort of seeped in from what Full Gospel um, is meant to me. And of course, it has changed my life totally. Wow. Yes, sir. Wow, 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 wow. That's a mind-blowing exposition. So, uh, let me say, invite someone. All right, use the opportunity to invite someone to attend any of the fellowship meetings. I, I would just gladly want to do that. Really, I want to invite you, if you're watching this right now, that, I mean, this is the happiest people on earth. And they don't just say that. We don't just say that. We are actually the most happiest people we are the happiest people on earth. The reason is we come here, we discover our talent and our giftings, and then we are given the opportunity, the platform to just, you know, express that to the fullest. Why wouldn't you want to be in a family like that? Because we're here, the purpose of life is a life of purpose. And what if you do not know the purpose? That's what full gospel is about. To extract that purpose from you, deploy it to the world, and then you can affect people. And I believe that anybody who is a Christian, or even if you are not a Christian, this is the place to be where you can unify both your work and your faith in just one place. So I invite you, please, join any of the chapters. There is a chapter in almost all the hotels in, in Ghana. We have about 55 chapters in only in Accra. And we have over 170 something, 75 chapters in the whole nation. So please, wherever you are, look for a full gospel chapter and just you know get involved wow so wherever you are just look for a full gospel chapter and get involved you can also visit www.fgbmfighana.org and find out more about us you can follow us on our social media platforms fgbmfi ghana on facebook on instagram and on youtube his banner over us has always and will always be loved God bless you. Hi, this is FGBMFI GH TV, and we have right here with us Osikeni Kwame. I mean, he will tell us more about himself and then his experience with FGBMFI, the most important icing on the cake, his experience. So over to you, you tell us your name and your experience. Okay, thank you, um, Osikeni, as you rightly said. Uh, I've been with the fellowship for almost 10 years, and. It's been a great experience. I, I am a Christian, but I never had the opportunity um, to incorporate my Christian values in my business. And the fellowship has helped me 
both spiritually and, and, and physically in my business. Spiritually in the sense that uh, through our seminar meetings, we are able to have people who come and teach us so many things concerning the Bible. And I've also had the opportunity of having members also support my business. I'm a, I'm a shoe designer, support my business uh, widely. I've had opportunities to also evangelize um, because I'm with the schools and colleges team and have the opportunity to go to the secondary school and share our stories with the schools. Almost every week we are going there. It's been a very great experience and it's a fertile ground for us to fellowship with other people and for us also preach the gospel. It's not the precept for pastors to reach out to the good news. Everybody, we businessmen can ab are able to also share our life story and bring people back to Christ. Thank you. Wow, thank you very much. That was his experience and will continue to be his experience with FGBMFI Ghana. Stay tuned and keep watching FGBMFI TV. Thank you. This panel bars is love. So still, we are on FGBMFI G8 TV, and we have here with us a very fine and a wonderful gentleman. He will tell us his name and shortly his experience with FGBMFI. Over to you, sir. Thank you very much. Um, my name is Fester Jaku. I've been in the fellowship for quite a long while now. We joined about in 1987, and we're in airport chapter, and it's been a great experience. Um, watching and wait, looking on people, looking at people, very senior people who were doing all sorts of things, ushering and the rest not. It was inspiring. Not only that, the testimonies of people, the life stories of men and women have changed our lives, challenging us and making us aim at being better and serving the Lord more. So we've also committed our house to serve the Lord. Some of us have sunk and never go. This is the fellowship we have been until the day God calls us. Thank you. Wow. It's going to be glued to the fellowship until the day yes. God calls him. Yes. What about you? We use this opportunity to invite you to FGBMFI for you to also experience this wonderful testimonies that Brethren is sharing. Yes. God bless you and his banner of us is it's always love. love. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, yeah, yeah, good man. <laughs> Yeah, we are here again live on FGBMFI G8 TV reporting live from the Fiesta Royal Accra, Ghana. Uh, I have here with me, uh, should I say, okay, a father figure. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's here to tell us his name and his experience with FGBMFI. Over to you, sir. Thank you. I will go back to 1996. And that was the first time I had the privilege of coming into this fellowship and it was through a very close friend of mine uh, it's been wonderful it's been exciting it's been challenging but uh, in all let me say it had shaped me it had made me a better person at home and at the workplace and uh, that's one thing i want to encourage every man outside there to belong to and uh, it's a welcoming place for all and I want to say God bless you for this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Wow, okay. it's a welcoming place <laughs> for all. It's a welcoming place indeed for all. We are waiting for you and we can't wait to have you to be part of the Full Gospel Businessmen Fellowship International. It's one of us. It's always love. Thank you. Okay, it's very wonderful coming back to you again and this live on the FGBMFI G8 TV. And we have some wonderful gentlemen and a lady here with us. They are going to tell us their names and briefly their experience with FGBMFI. 
So over to you. Who is going first? I'll let your mind go. Okay, okay. I'll okay. Say ladies first. All right, okay, ladies so, first. Sorry to so do over to you. <laughs> you look into the camera. You tell us your name, your experience with FGBMFI. Okay, so I am Doris Dakwanyafe from the East Legon chapter. And my experience with FG BMFI has been just amazing. I mean, it has been out of this world, getting me closer to God each and every day. And then I really appreciate Full Gospel, actually. Yes, I really do. All right, she says that she really does appreciate Full Gospel. All right, so over to you, sir. You tell us one lesson you've gleaned from Full Gospel. <laughs> Hi, Ferdinand here, the CAC Vice Chairman and for gospel teaches you humility we will rebound and we will stay in humility to serve god in jesus name amen amen wow that's fantastic <laughs> i mean actually that's one of the lessons i learned in full gospel humility mm -hmm. because you see big men serving and who are you <laughs> not to serve wow so over to you yeah. chairman you tell us your name and your experience with lgbmfi thank you very much miles christian higgin uh, chairman cac and a field rep. I will say full gospel has enhanced my spirituality. I remember before joining, there was this phase in my life where I felt there was an absence of the presence of God, although I'm a Christian, but I wasn't working. And being in full gospel, I feel the experience that yes, you are being used, your talents are on earth, you are able to impact lives and you see that God is using you as a vessel to transform. And that I always say has what has made me feel full gospel and made me really committed to serve. Wow, that's awesome. So in full gospel, your talents will not be dormant. We will give you a space and an opportunity to put it to use, all for God's glory. Thank you for watching FGBMFI TV. It's banner over us, it's always it's loud. Glorious! Rebound. Rebound. Glorious. Rebound. Rebound. We are rebounding for Christ. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay.